Hi children, it's Mrs. Dawson. Here's the story for today. It's called Who's Afraid of the Quite Nice Wolf? Wilfred was a wolf, but not a scary one. Anyone 40? He lived in a pack, but not a nice one. Oh, we've got you. Oh gosh, oh no. Wilfred tried his best to fit in. Maybe you'd like to be eaten. It never worked out. I'll be back to help you with the carrots next week. No one was afraid of the quite nice wolf. For a wolf, he was quite nice. Wilfred growled at the leader of the wolf pack. Our wolf is fierce and bold and scary. Like this. <coughs> I do apologise. You are quiet, quite... You're helpful and you're even a vegetarian. Everyone needs their greens, Wilfred pleaded. Who's afraid of the quite nice wolf, asked the leader. No one, cried the pack. Oh dear, sighed Wilfred. Tomorrow, said the leader, we'll, we attack the sheep. What, all of them, asked Wilfred. You will learn to be a proper wolf. You will join us. Me? The wolf pack howled all night. Ow! Wilfred tried to sleep. Another hot water bottle, perhaps? I could run away, he thought. I could start a new life as a hairstylist. I could become a vet for baby chickens. Or even write poetry for the queen. Thinking about attacking the sheep gave him tummy ache. I have to help them, thought Wilfred, and off he went with his thermos. Wilfred, said Mildred. It's not poker Thursday, it's an emergency, said Wilfred. Tomorrow night, there will be a wolf pack attack. Oh no, cried Mildred. We all will be eaten. We have to run away. What if there was another way? asked Wilfred. Together, Kate, they came up with a plan. Training commenced first thing in the morning. Welcome to being a big bad sheep, said Mildred. Sheep are fearsome. Sheep are bold. Sheep are scary. Who's white, fluffy and lethal? We are. Mildred gave Wilfred a special present. It's perfect, said Wilfred. The next day the wolf pack hunted. Arrow! We're coming for you. But wait. What is this? Sheep are small, tasty and terrified, aren't they? Wilfred threw on his special present. The wool was lovely and soft. Now he shouted, hi ya ba ba oof Retreat, called the leader. Wilfred, he cried, you did this. You are not a proper wolf. You're right, said Wilfred. I am not a proper wolf. No one is afraid of the quite nice wolf. But I like being nice and I think I'll live here now. Urgh, growled the leader. Ahem. Fine, fine, said the leader, slinking away. Hooray! No one was afraid of the big bad wolf anymore. But the wolves were afraid of the big bad sheep. And Wilfred, the quite nice wolf, he planted sunflowers. Time for tea, Wilfred. The end.